Hello everybody. Uh, I got a couple of requests uh, to explain the, the lick, the riff of uh, Romeo and Juliet and how that is being played on the resonator guitar. So I decided I'd do a you know, quick tutorial on how to play that. So it's going to be three simple steps. First is the setup of your guitar. The second one is the chords that you're going to use throughout the song. And the third step is going to focus on the right hand because that's mainly what makes the difference in this song. Um, so let's get started. The tuning of the guitar is really important in this song. Um, it defines the sound that not for it used during this uh, during this song. So in this video I'll be addressing the strings from top to bottom as the first string being the highest string and the sixth th string being the lowest. Which means that um, from top to bottom it's the first string is D, the second one is B, the third one is a G, the fourth one is a D, the fifth one is a G, and the lowest one, the sixth one, is again a D. So that's an open G tuning. Then there's the capo that you need to have. Um, and you put it on the third position, like this, so that your guitar is tuned in an open B flat, so to speak. And then we're ready to go. Okay, so there are five chords that you need to know for this song. Uh, the, the song only consists of five chords, so if you can play these five chords, you can play the entire song. Um, let's start with the most easy one, which is the, the B flat chord. It's um, strings one through to five, and you start it. That's the open B flat. Don't use the lowest string for that, so don't make it a full um, B flat, but leave out the lowest string so that you only have then the second chord you need to know is the C chord, uh, which is really simple because it's only putting your finger on the fifth position like that. The um, thing is, don't again, don't use the lowest string. Also, don't use, uh, don't block uh, the the lowest string, and I'll tell you in a moment why that's so important. So the the G chord, the the C chord is like this, and then there's the most important chord, which is the F chord. It's the bass chord of the song. Um, so, and we're going to use the lowest string for that too. So that would be um, an open sixth string, the fi fifth string you fret on the fifth position, the fourth string will be fretted on the seventh position, then the third string you still you still have the C chord there, right? Um, and you make sure that you can let the third string ring on the fifth position while having this th these five strings blocks on the on the fifth position. So that would be open string five seven five. And then we're going to put the index finger on six for the second string, and then the pink will go on the seventh position of the first string. And now you can see why it's so important to not have uh, in the C chord the, the, um, the, the, the sixth string fretted on the fifth because it allows you to quickly um, iterate between the F chord and the C chord without losing any of the character characteristics of the, of the chord. So those are the chords used for the intro and for most of the song. And then there is the D minor, a D minor chord, which is you know, normally you would you would take it like this on um, on on an electric guitar, you know, string, uh, uh, tuned in the in the, in the conventional uh, uh, way. But as we've now lowered this fifth string um, by a full tone, we need to for for to to achieve a D minor, we need to um, put this position up to, um, so not going to be the 5th position but the 7th position. 
and because we've got um, the, f the, the first string tuned in D with a capo on the third, we don't need to uh, fret that one, but we can just let it ring as, as an open string. So that's the D minor, so that's uh, seven, position seven, seven, six, open. And then the final chord that you need to know is the um, G minor chord. And we're going to play that as follows with the sixth string fretted on the fifth position. We're going to mute, mute the uh, fifth string. Put the, uh, for the fourth string, we're going to fret it on the fifth position as well. Then the third and second will be open. And the final, the, finally, the first string we're also going to fret at five. So it's going to be five, mute, five, open, open, five. And those are the chords that you need to know for the song. So the next step is to go and play the intro. Okay, so the chord progression for the intro is as follows. We start in, a, in an F chord. Now we're going to a C, followed by a B flat, going back to a C, going back to an F. And basically this pattern continues throughout the whole intro. So if you keep that in mind, I'm not going to, so I'm going to focus now on the right hand. I'll probably keep the left hand off off screen. So you know what to do with the with the left with her left hand. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, focus in, zoom in on the right hand here. I'm going to assign a string to each finger. So my pink will be playing the first string only. My ring finger will play the second string. My middle finger will play the third string. My index finger will play the fourth string, and my thumb, with my thumb, I'll iterate between uh, the fifth and the sixth string. And as you can see, I'm playing with five fingers. Uh, Knopfler does it only with these three, um, but that's you know, way too complicated for me. So I'm I'm used to playing it with five fingers, and it makes it you know sound the song exactly the same. So why make it overly complicated? So with that, um, we start off by picking uh, the first and the sixth string simultaneously. And then we're going to continue by using the fourth, by, by using uh, the, the fourth, third and second string in this pattern. Then, um, to, before we go into the C chord, uh, we're going to do a little lick with uh, the with uh, four, three, and second snare. So we start off with thumb on the sixth. Six, four, three, two. going to the C chord and we're going to do the same um, pick the fifth string and the first string at the same time and then do the four three two sequence again so in total that would be starting from the top With the, when we end up at the um, open B flat, we are going to use do that same pattern again. Start with the thumb on fifth and the pink on the first, and then the sequence with four, three, two, and then end it by um, picking the, the the first string with the pink. So 
from the top that would be. Then before going back to that F chord again, we're going to build a little bridge by playing a short C. Um, thumb on the fifth, ring finger on the second, and we're going to play you know, at the top of the, at the, the, the second and the first string, we're going to play. Let me show you that what what the what the left hand does. So we got the C chord, and we're going to um, put the middle finger on the sixth position of the second string. And then again the the pattern as we had first uh, played it from the top. And then we're going to do something interesting. But before we go there. First, do, take it from the top one more time. Let me show you b both hands. One more time. I think Mark Knopfler plays it with, with his thumb only. But as I'm playing with five fingers, I'm going to use the thumb for five, for six and five, and then use the fingers for two to do the to do the rake. So basically it's going to be. Going into, then going into a C chord. Again, pick the fifth and the first at the same time, followed by the second. And again, the same pattern at the open G as we played before. And that's the riff, basically. That's all there is to it. So, really slowly, from the top. The rest of the song is, you know, Mark uses a strumming pattern to make the chord, to let the chords ring. Um, and the pattern is as follows, the, the downbeat of the strum is always with a thumb. And then he uses the two fingers to, 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 to make that rake, uh, with, with, without make the chords ring. So the, the pattern is as follows. So if you combine that with with the chords that we um, that we went through at the beginning, it would sound like this.
that's basically all you need to know to play this song. There are a couple of variations within the chords. Now I'll let you figure those out for yourself. Um, as long as you take the chords that I showed you as a basis for what you play and you play around it, then you cannot go wrong. So that's the beauty of it. Um, as always, I'd appreciate it if you let me know your progress in the comments uh, below this video. And if it was really useful for you, you might consider making a voluntary donation via PayPal to martinoffletribute at gmail.com. Still, I'm doing this for free. I'm not a teacher, but will, it will allow me to keep up what I'm doing. So thanks and good luck practicing. Mm -hmm.